Hello and welcome to the Alpha Premiere. Today we're going to talk about an uh, interactive movie that I was really excited about and I got really disappointed. The reason for it was like it was not able, uh, like I was not able to uh, play or like interact with this movie initially on the uh, official Netflix app on the Windows. I think it's the Edge version of it. I don't know, but it doesn't, uh, I was unable to do that. So I had to watch it on my Chrome app to use the web browser as in to watch Netflix and I was able to play the movie. It was uh it was a fun movie. I tried multiple possibilities, I tried to of them and it was really good. It was really fun. I mean it's fun, like it has a rewatchability of multiple scenarios and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But like it's not like super high on the romance list. It's it's average movie, it's not too much of a concept movie like it has selected scenarios it has certain stuff that's happening on and overall it's a short movie it's a one hour four minutes or one hour 14 minutes movie it's not too long of a movie so that's kind of disappointing i have thought that it would have multiple scenarios and multiple uh, levels to it so that it will be much more interactive and stuff like that so without uh spoiling too much of it uh the two movie that i'm gonna i'm talking about today you already know about it is the new interactive uh, movie released by Netflix known as Choose Love. Choose Love XI or I think 11 or whatever that is. I think it's for choosing X is for no and I, I is for yes. I don't know what it's that for. But Choose Love XI is officially out on Netflix. It's a Netflix interactive movie and you have to keep in mind if you're using it on the Windows. It doesn't work. It works on the Xbox. It works on PlayStation. It works on Nintendo Switch or whatever that other streaming platforms you have passed, the Smart TV. But it doesn't work on the PC version of it. You have to use the Chrome to actually do it. That's just point for me. I've already talked about it already. But movie is interesting. Has different scenarios. It's quite interactive. Who you want to choose, what, what scenario you're going through. Is that a person that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with? That kind of stuff. Here we initially watch the trailer. Like there are three cards, it chooses through the arrow cards, and you have a fortune of you're gonna choose love, who you're gonna be with. Initially, you're with a guy named Paul, but later you meet your childhood friend and a musician, which is already revealed in the trailer. Or oh, it's it's fun. It's it's re it's replayable, but to a certain extent, you might get bored very easily. And it's a very very short movie. It's like one hour forty minutes, as I already told you before. So that's kind of disappointing overall for me. But I really like the concept of it. If it's implemented correctly in the future movies, maybe if you make a little bigger movie, it will be quite fun. I I would like to see this kind of thing in space exploration movies or science fiction movies more. Uh and. I also want to see it like more of these interactive movies or I like this kind of stuff. I've I've played multiple uh interactive uh point click movie as like movies, I would not say it's a game or a movie, it's hard to differentiate, but there's a lot of there on Steam as well. So I'd like to see more of this from Netflix because they have the budget to make and bring a huge star cast to this a table. So I'm to be honest, I like the way it was actually implemented in uh Black Mirror's Bandersnatch. Uh, it was really well implemented and I really liked that it had multiple possibilities. Chose Love was kind of a, it was in the, it was like a love, uh, not like love, sorry, love story movie. So it had, I think for a love story, uh, it was very short duration and it had very limited options because like, even with the options, I felt like it was, uh, very, uh, it was very manipulated in some regards because like yes we had options but i think the options were fairly limited and i like to see more choosing options like at least four options instead of two options which is uh kind of cool i think uh if you put four options because we get more uh interaction there and you can branch it more well and it can be a lengthy three hour movie i mean you don't want to push it too much i guess i understand but I would like to see a movie that is a little bit longer than one hour overall. I'm really excited for more stuff like this. And overall, I was a little bit disappointed, but it was fun. It was a 
I would not say I'm not sure if it's the first attempt, but it's a quite an interesting attempt. I really loved it, and I like to see Netflix work on this con concept a little bit more. But I would rate it like a six or a seven out of ten uh, for the first attempt for me as first time watching Netflix interactive. So. Thank you for watching this movie. Hope you'll uh, thank you for watching this video. Hope you like this video. Found it so interesting. If so, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We we'll meet soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.